here we are. Uh, last, well, second to last day in Fairbanks. We take that train tomorrow. But we're taking this um, tour, city tour, and this company has been not the best. Review coming soon, by the way. <laughs> they might not like it. Um, yeah. So he said said something funny. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I can get her to say it again, but I come out of the bathroom. And she, what do you say? Wearing clothes is a new experience for me. <laughs> we don't wear these type of layers. Actually, I said wearing clothes must be a new experience for you. Oh, yeah. For me, I don't wear these kind of layers either. <laughs> so, okay, let's go do this tour. Okay, so the tour is taking us here to the Museum of the North. They say it's warm in there, so I kind of took off my jacket. This view from the top up here is insane. There goes Gerald. <laughs> Cafe. All right, let's go. So check this out, right next to a giant woolly mammoth. I'm gonna see if I can stand right next to his tusk. This thing is massive. I would, look at this thing. <laughs> it's huge. So far this place has been pretty cool. They have a lot of bones, a lot of uh, just random like animals, dinosaurs, polar bears. Just a lot of like really cool stuff here. So if you guys do come out here to the Museum of the North, check it out for sure. <laughs> here she comes again. Watch. Wait till you get in the sun. I got four of those knives. Too. You don't feel the sun at all. <laughs> it's bullshit. I mean, it's bright. It's bright. But you know how you feel like the sun's like hot? Cheers. Cheers. Ow. <laughs> that was hot. It was hot. Is she hot? Okay. Going to the next spot. Okay, bye. Place was cool. Okay, see ya. In sports is actually an old um, airport hangar, military hangar. So this used to be Fort... Fort Ladd. Fort Ladd, back during World War II. Yeah. Wow. And these are all people leaving from the start of the dog mushing. We just missed it. <laughs> yeah, just missed it. Yeah, so the sculpture. <laughs> um, I'm like, so this is where uh, the founding, this is the statue of the founding fathers, you said? Yep. That's of E.T. Bartlett and his family. They're the ones that put Fairbanks on the map. Church house across the way. Uh -huh. It was over here. Wow. And the minister that was um, running the church at the time, he wanted to be closer to his patrons in the hospital. Uh -huh. The hospital was the Nally State Bank uh -huh. at the time. And so he didn't want to rebuild, so he waited until the Chena River froze over, jacked up the church house, put logs underneath it, and rolled it across the frozen river with help about 200 men. <laughs> wow. And then once he got over there, he did the add-ons to it, the cabin got moved up this way, and the rest is history. Yeah. Church. This is the church that they slid over the ice. <laughs> really, yeah. You see this? <laughs> yeah. That's the church. And if we, it is a little shopping mall kind of uh -huh. but you go in through one of these side doors into the hallway in there and be careful you could probably get lost it is like a maze in there with all the different shops shops and stores you walk into one and before you know it you've gone through five different stores wow so this is the official north pole <laughs> <laughs> in north pole city in north pole city can i step out there and take a quick yeah, video can. Right can. yep here we are officially at the North Pole, guys. <laughs> we made it. This is the North Pole, and they found this in the actual areas. And it, there's a whole story about it. You guys can read up on it. But they uh, they brought it here and they posted it here at the North, the city North Pole. Amazing. And we made it to Santa Claus's house. Yay! 
not much enthusiasm here. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't ride Santa Claus. Why not? <laughs> Don't. No, you ride a reindeer. You ride a reindeer. <laughs> We're gonna get thrown out. He's like, this is why you've been on the naughty list, little girl. <laughs> so here we are guys, Santa Claus's house at the North Pole. Um, yeah, for you guys who don't think Santa Claus's house is real, well, <laughs> here it is. Pretty crazy. So here's the wall for Santa's letters. They post them up here and yeah, Santa gets your letters guys. So we found Santa's reindeer. I'm gonna buy two of these. They're only four twenty-five. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Four twenty-five. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, we know who's paying the bill. <laughs> and here we are, the world's largest Santa Claus statue thing. <laughs> I forget what they said, 17 feet, 18 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, I don't know. It's huge. <laughs> it is huge, check us out. Yeah, there he is, massive. So this is our, well now we're actually gonna go to Doug, Doug Mushing, Dog Mushing, Dog Mushing. So well, let's go check this out. This is gnarly, If you guys, I'm telling you, you guys have to come out here. This is insane, but we made it to Santa Claus's house. <laughs> Run into this car, Rivian. I think it's all electric. Pretty gnarly. I haven't seen anything like this before, but this is here at the North Pole. This truck looks super state-of-the-art. Yeah, beautiful truck. This thing is nice. So we made it to the Rods Alaskan Guide Service. And this is where they had all the dog mushing or dog sledding. Pretty cool, pretty neat. A very cool experience. If anybody gets a chance to do it, you should definitely do it. Here comes the dogs running around. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Hopefully, yeah. yesterday there was like a little bit like of a white streak. Uh huh. And then it was gone. With the camera, it looked green. Like Was that last night? Last night. So the stars came out? A yeah, bit? a little bit. So we're hoping maybe tonight's our last night. So okay, yeah. <laughs> it's like do or die. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is promising. I mean, that it looks like it's clearing up because we've had like two weeks of really cloudy. Like it's been like snowing basically for two weeks. Yeah. Which, yeah. If it's cloudy, you can't see anything. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. This is like the most promising it's been. So hopefully, it stays clear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey. All right. Push! <laughs> oh, cool. Get out. Holy shit, is Shoot ahead. Yeah, four people, eight dogs, no problem. Wow. And they, and they love to do this, huh? Oh, yeah, this is like, this is definitely their idea of a good time. Yeah. Yeah, normally you're like, oh, poor, poor doggies. Yeah. No, this is, this is what they want to be doing today for sure. How cold is it? Too cold for their feet? No, so honestly, like, even at 30 below, their their feet aren't, like, we don't worry about their feet getting cold. I mean, if they're, if they're hanging out inside and then they go step out outside, they might be like, ooh. Yeah. Um, but uh, they, their veins and arteries are wrapped around each other in their feet, so they kind of always have warm blood in their feet. Yeah. And so we don't worry about, like, frostbite or anything on their feet, so. So what brought you up here from California? So I came up, I was actually doing a research project with sled dogs with the university. Yeah. So that's kind of like what brought me here. Good dogs, yep, yep. Uh, 
And then I ended up kind of falling in love with Fairbanks and really liked working with the dogs. So um, kind of stayed here. And, and these are my personal dogs. So I got 13 dogs. Nice. So I got five more at home. And so yeah, now uh, kind of, it was never planned at any point, but I got sucked into living here and, and I love it and made good friends here. And so it's definitely home now. Yeah. Eating snow. <laughs> like we're thirsty. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they obviously don't have access to liquid water in the winter, and so we give them uh, like a pretty watery breakfast and dinner, and if they're thirsty during the day, they'll eat snow. Nice. And I feel like half the time they do it for fun, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have like, do they always go in the same order? Oh. We definitely switch it up. So um, most of my dogs can run in, in, in any position the team <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna dive into this now. Oh, okay. oh yo, so. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Most of my dogs can run in any position, but you you will get dogs that prefer <laughs> running in a certain spot. Yeah. Um, and so lead's gonna be the most limiting. Like you'll have the least amount of dogs that are comfortable running in lead. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's basically just kind of like the most like mentally stimulating uh, place to run. And it requires like a very confident, secure dog. That's okay, like having the pressure of all the dogs being behind them. Yeah. And then they, you know, they kind of have to think about where they're going, listening to me, um, taking commands. And so it's definitely like more mental pressure on the dogs. So some dogs don't like that because if you're just running like back in the team, you just chase the dog in front of you. You don't have to think about much. Yeah. Hi. Hi. There we go. <laughs> that was a good shot. Oh, nice. Sunshine. So we're just getting to the time of the year where we can actually feel the warmth of the sun. Yeah. Like most of December and January, you actually like can't feel the warmth of the sun. It's so low in the sky. Yeah. And so like the style of dogs these are, they're like long distance racing and long distance running dogs. And so this is, if I was gonna race these guys, like we're going about this speed and it's kind of like, you know, trail, like ultra trail runners or whatever, where it's, you know, they're not sprinting. It's just a nice sustainable pace that they can hold for a long time. Yeah. So these guys could do this for seven hours and then take a quick rest and get up and do it again, no problem. And so sometimes they'll put a dog in lead for the first time and they already know the commands just because they like picked it up while being in the team. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> this guy's shaking a little. Is it cold? Okay, so here we are, snowmobile. You guys can see it. I don't think I'm going to be able to record this ride because uh, I didn't bring my latch that was supposed to be on it, but I'm going to try to figure it out somehow. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it. She's nervous as hell. He's cool. So yeah, all right, let's see how this goes. What do you think? That was scary. That was scary. <laughs> no, seriously, I was so scared because I I could see Juan and then we literally just turned a corner and then you guys were all gone and I couldn't <laughs> see anybody. I'm like, oh my God, where did they go? Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm gonna get attacked by a wolf because no one's around. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we tried 
quiet. <laughs> Last day, she's taking off. No northern lights. Super faint. Yeah. So, what do you think? What was your favorite part of the trip? The dogs. The dogs. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. No lights, though. Yeah. You guys take care. Take care of each other. Peace. Thank you.